Hey everyone, what's up? Christopher, the video game historian here with the BF Nations. And today, instead of bringing you the history behind the maps and locations of Battlefield 5, I thought I would bring you the history behind the weapons. Now since DICE are adding tons of new weapons to Battlefield 5, I thought I should go over the history of these interesting pieces of weaponry that are making their video game debut. The first gun I thought I would go over is the Sig Neuhausen KE-7, which is available for the support class. This weapon was manufactured at the Sig Small Arms Factory in Neuhausen, Switzerland around 1929, and was produced until its discontinuation in 1938. It held a 25 round box magazine chambered in the popular 792 by 57 mm Mauser cartridge and was a recoil operated air cooled light machine gun. It had a rate of fire of around 550 rounds per minute and typically took a crew of two to use. One was the operator while the other was the magazine and barrel changer which was pretty much standard practice for light machine guns at the time and a feature we'll be seeing in Battlefield when the weapons begin to overheat. Now this particular firearm derives its name from the initials of its designers, Paul de Kirley and Gothard End, and was the seventh model of light automatic weapons, which to be quite honest I'm not too entirely sure what that means as modernfirearms.net makes it sound like this was the seventh model developed by the pair, but that is where the name KE7 comes from as the Kirley N seventh model. Now, even though the KE-7 did not have a selector switch to change from semi-auto single shots to fully automatic modes, a skilled operator could still give the trigger a short pull, allowing the gun to fire one bullet while a longer pull fired multiple. The barrels could be detached quickly as well as replaced in the event it got too hot and overheated, a feature that we'll again be seeing in the game. The charging handle was on the left side of the receiver and it had a safety on the right. The rifle could have a bipod attached to the barrel's jacket and could be further stabilized by attaching a monopod to the back of the buttstock. Now despite the fact that this gun was developed and produced in Switzerland, the Swiss Army never actually adopted it nor used it and in fact most of the weapons manufactured were exported to China. Latin America and Ethiopia would both receive the KE-7 but would be rechambered for different calibers to fit their military needs. In the 1930s, the British military would actually take a look at the gun and run it through various trials as they looked for something that could replace the now antiquated Lewis gun. Despite testing it out, the British would not actually adopt the gun, but instead would choose the Bren light machine gun over it. The KE-7 however would still be used throughout World War II and the Chinese Civil War by the Republic of China. So what do you all think of this gun? Are you looking forward to using it? Did you like what you see in the gameplay and who will be the first to achieve 100 service stars with it? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please give us a like, subscribe to the BF Nations and come join our discord server to say hello. As always I'm the video game historian and until next time I'll see you all on the battlefield.